Welcome to this second video on related rates and in this video we're going to be um, going through the process of solving related rate problems where you might need to use geometry. So the types of things that you might need to use are for instance the Pythagorean theorem, that, that's a big one. So if we have legs of a triangle, of a right triangle, then the relationship between the legs and the hypotenuse is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And um, some of the other formulas that you might need are just, you know, basic area formulas. If there's anything more complicated like the volume of a sphere or something, or the volume of a cylinder, I would, I would certainly give that to you. Let's remind ourselves the basic steps. So step one, you got to read the problem, analyze the given information, and identify the goal. And with these geometry-based problems, you're going to need to draw a picture. Whenever you have a geometry, drawing a picture is helpful. Use the chain rule to find the derivative with respect to t, substitute value, values and solve, and then write a sentence answering the question, making sure to include units. Let's start with this first example. A ladder is 15 feet long and it's leaning against a wall. The bottom of the ladder is sliding away from the wall at a rate of 3 feet per second. How quickly is the ladder sliding down the wall when the top of the ladder is 6 feet from the ground? So we've got a wall here. So here's our wall and here's the ground. And we have a ladder that's leaning against the wall. So this is the ladder. So imagine rungs on the ladder here. Okay, so this, the length of that ladder remains a constant 15 feet. It doesn't matter if it's um, high on the wall or maybe it's low on the wall, you know, maybe it's down like this, about ready to just crash to the floor. But either way, that side here, the length of that ladder remains 15 feet. Now if you look, this makes a nice triangle, a nice right triangle. And this distance here, because that bite, the base of the ladder is sliding away from the wall, that's going to be changing all the time. And the height that the ladder reaches on the wall is also going to be changing. So let's call this distance x and let's call this distance y. So one piece of information that's really important is for this problem we have x squared plus y squared equals 15 squared or x squared plus y squared is 225. So that's going to be an important thing for this problem. Now let's go to the actual problem here and start figuring out what given information we have. Pause the video and see if you can figure this out and write down the given information and the goal. You're back. So this first sentence that's underlined in red says the ladder is 15 feet long leaning against the wall. We don't actually use that in terms of any of our variables here because we have it in our formula for our um, relating our x and our y. Next it says the bottom of the ladder is sliding away from the wall at a rate of 3 feet per second. So that's how this side here, this x side, is changing. So that's our dx dt. How quickly is the ladder sliding down the wall? So our goal is to figure out how quickly this side here is changing, dy dt. And um, we want to know this specifically when the top of the ladder is 6 feet from the ground. So we want to know when this y is 6 feet. So we want to know what is the rate that, how quickly the ladder is sliding down the wall when that y is 6. We've identified our given information. Now let's use the chain rule to take the derivative. So what we have is x squared plus y squared equals 225. So we're going to need to use that method where we go term by term to take the derivative. The derivative of the x squared is going to be 2x but since x depends on time, we need to multiply by dx dt plus the derivative of y squared is 2y. y depends on time, so we're going to need to multiply by dy dt. Derivative of 225 is just 0. Now let's go through here. Our goal was this dy dt. This is our goal. And let's make sure that we know all of our values. So dx dt, we know that y, we know that, but x here, we don't know that. 
but we can find x because if we think about this, we want to know how fast is sliding down the wall when this y is 6, and remember this side here is a constant 15, so that's in this side here is our x. So we can find that by just using that Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus 6 squared is 36, is 15 squared, that's 225, so x squared is going to be 189, so x is going to be the square root of 189. We didn't know that we needed that, but we actually did. It was easy to find though. Okay, now we can just substitute in all our values. So we have 2 times the square root of 189 times dx dt, which is 3, plus 2 times y, that's 6, times dy dt equals 0. Again, this is what I'm trying to solve for, this dy dt, so I'm going to move this part here over on the other side. So I have 12 dy dt equals 6 times the square root of 189, so dy dt is going to be 6 square root of 189 divided by 12, which is the square root of 189 divided by 2. It would be helpful to know what this is as a decimal, and it's 6.87, and the units here are in feet so the top of the ladder is sliding down the wall at a rate of 6.87 feet per second. Okay, so here's a second example. We have two ships that leave the same port at noon. Ship A sails north at 15 miles per hour and ship B sails east at 12 miles per hour. How fast is the distance between them changing at 2 p.m.? We've got a port here and ship A is sailing this way and ship B is sailing this way. Okay, The distance between them, let's call that C. We have a few things that, that we need to figure out. First, they're talking about how fast is this distance changing at 2 p.m. So it would probably be helpful to note what those distances were exactly at 2.15 or at 2 p.m. If the ship A is sailing at 15 miles per hour, and they leave at 12 p.m. at noon, and he sails for two hours, then this distance here, it's going to be traveling two hours at 15 miles per hour, so that distance there is going to be 30. And ship B, this distance here is going to be um, 12 times 2, so that's 24. Okay, and we don't know what the C is, but we could figure that out. So let's analyze the given information. So go through this sentence, given that we're calling things A, B, and C, and write down what the given information is and identify that goal. So pause the video and do that. Glad you're back. Ship A sails north at 15 miles per hour, so DA DT is 15. Ship B sails east at 12 miles per hour, so DB DT is 12. We already found that A is 30 and B is 24, and our goal is to figure out how fast is that distance between them changing at 2 p.m. So our goal is to figure out our how our C, our distance between the two boats, is changing. So that's dc dt. Our relationship between our variables is given by that Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now notice this one's a little different than from the last one because in the last one our c was always constant but our c is always changing because that's the distance between our two boats. So if we take the derivative of this we're going to have 2a dA dt plus 2b db dt equals 2c dc dt. Let's make sure we know what we're looking for. Our goal is to figure out what this dc dt is, and let's make sure we have everything we need to know. So we know a, dA dt we know, we know b, db dt we also know. The only thing we don't know is that c, and dc dt is what we're trying to find. So all we need to do is figure out what this c is, but that's easy c squared 
is 30 squared plus 24 squared. So C squared is 1476. So C is going to be the square root of that. Okay, so now let's plug everything in. To make our lives easier, before we start plugging things in, do you notice how we have a 2 in this term, a 2 in this term, and a 2 in this term? We could divide everything by 2 like this. And that makes all those 2's go away. And then we have just A dA dt plus B dB dt equals C dC dt. So plugging in our numbers, we have 30 times 15 plus 24 times 12 equals the square root of 1476 times dc dt, and all we have to do is divide out by this. So our dc dt is 738 over the square root of 1476, which is approximately equal to 19.2 miles per hour. Okay, the last thing we need to do is answer our question in a sentence. And we have the distance between the boats is increasing at the rate of 19.2 miles per hour. So that's it for the related rates examples. See you next time.